Hey, welcome back everybody. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, uh, my save file has changed and some bad news happened. Uh, in between the last part and this part, my save file got erased. Yeah. I had opened up the game file one day and I looked and there was no game save files. Not of my original playthrough of the first Legend of Zelda or this one of Hidden Duality. It was completely gone. And I tried reopening the program, opening it again, reopening it, just hoping beyond hopes that there could be, you know, that it was a mistake, that it was a glitch, and the save file was there. No, it was gone. All my progress of my three heart, no potion challenge run, was gone. <laughs> At least to say I let out quite a few curse words that day, and I deleted all the current uh, footage that I had made and of, of that particular video of part uh, 19 right now, of what you're viewing at the moment. And I was seriously debating just leaving it as an unfinished play series and just, you know, hey, I only got up to part 18 and we're done. That's it. Because I lost my save file and I just don't have the heart to go through this quest on, th you know, on, on, on three hearts and no potions again, just to get back here. It was terrible. I, I don't want to relive that again, <laughs> as it were. It was bad enough getting there the first time. Oh yeah, in this room, there's a, there's a little secret in there that I figured out uh, previously, and I'll show you guys in a little bit what that is, but... So, I am redoing the game, back from where I started. Um, except I'm doing a modification to my challenge. Uh, obviously, I am redoing the pathway, just to kind of kind of like a recap of where we've been, and how to get to where I was before, you know, just in case you guys don't remember from the last video. And to kind of give me some time to talk about all this. But yeah, back to the actual modification to the challenge. Uh, I'm no longer doing three hearts, but I am still doing the no potion challenge. So, as you can see, yeah, I have a potion, but I will not be using it unless I absolutely have to, and that would break my challenge if I have to use it. And yeah, three hours and 43 minutes, <laughs> since I had a complete video log of how I got here, it was pretty easy to kind of reference and make a straight beeline right back to level seven. So, it's taking a lot less time to get back to where I was now that I know what I'm doing. Uh, it didn't make it any less hard though, but you know the extra hearts really did help. As you can see, instead of giving like 60 something deaths, I now have like only 8. So in the end, having more hearts does truly help. So anyway, we're coming back to this point where uh, the, the major item in the dungeon, the hammer, is blocked by two manhandlers, and let me tell you, I had died about 10 to 15 times on three hearts trying to get these guys, and I eventually did get them, and I, and I killed them. So yes, I was able to kill this on three hearts, unfortunately I was so mad I deleted the footage and now I regret doing so, so you're just going to have to take my word for it that I beat him on three hearts. Uh, I mean, I've already proven that I can, you know, in level 6, because they were like two rooms with two manhandlers and stuff. And I got the hammer, and then I went and saved my game, and then decided to... Oh, good gosh, why did I even do that? I meant the hook shot. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a waste of a super bomb. But yeah, I went out uh, after getting the hammer, and I saved my game. I'm like, whew, that was a huge accomplishment, because I had already spent like two hours trying to kill these stupid manhandlers. But, uh, yeah, when I went back the game file was gone. So, anything past this point now is back to my blind run, because I don't know what's going to happen after the hammer, because I, I didn't get any further than that. I got the hammer, and that was it. <laughs> so, from here on out, we are now going to explore brand new territory, at least for me anyway. So, I knew for a fact there was some hammer posts here, because I've kept mentioning about it. In previous videos, that there were hammer posts there, and so now back to our regularly scheduled uh, blind run. Oh my goodness! 
Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, gosh, I am just, like, wasting bombs. Like, seriously, wasting bombs. I'm, like, getting unnerved by these stupid, uh, whiz rows. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would have already died on three hearts here. <laughs> oh, yep, I would have totally died. I mean, I guess that's one bad thing about having a lot of hearts, is that uh, you almost get a sense of immunity, which you actually don't have, so you tend to take more risks, and oh my goodness, yeah, I am Mr. Bomb Waster today, <laughs> but you take more risks that you wouldn't normally have if you only had three hearts, and uh, you usually just tank some of the hits, just, just because you can. One more thing that I wanted to check out, and that was the secret that I told you about earlier in this video. I figured it out while I was doing my trial after trial of killing those two manhandlers. I figured out the secret to that room previously. Yeah, there is a crap ton of backtracking in this level. Going through this level a second time has kind of made me realize that. I mean, it's like everything takes you back to the start. Everything. So, and a lot of the areas, uh, new areas that you open up over the course of the dungeon, require you to backtrack considerably. Like this one, for example. If you don't backtrack after the hammer... Yeah, see, there's the chest I want. You're going to have to go through quite a few areas to get there. Kind of roundabout. God, jeez, gosh, too many Christmas. I am just terrible with these balls in this video. Okay, this is the room we're talking about. <laughs> I had no idea what that thing on the wall was for. At first, I, I thought it was like a something that you do with your arrows or your wand, but no, it's a hookshot target. Like all of a sudden. Those things are hookshot targets. Where they weren't... Whoa. Hello. Yeah, where they weren't before... Uh, previously. So yeah. I was just like... Hey, I forgot about these new guys. These are new type of Stolfos. And uh, they shoot... Very, very damaging... Sh uh, en enemy shots in all four directions. And they're stupid fast. So the best chance to get rid of them is to stun them first. And then kill them. Right. Now I know there's a hammer post on the north side near the fairy cave. That much I do know. And I'm gonna do a little something first. Because after watching a previous video, there is an item I can get right now. And since I don't have to worry about having three hearts anymore, I can totally get it. And the item I'm referring to, of course, is none other than a heart piece. It just happens to be the heart piece I saw previously when I first entered the swamp several videos ago. There it is, very easily out in the open. All you need to do is remember that it's here and come back with the hammer and voila! You have a very easy heart piece. It seems like a lot of these heart piece locations, they're not so much that they're tricky to get to, it's just remembering that they're there. Like, oh yeah, there's this one heart piece all the way back over there that I can get now because I have this item. So it's more like a memorization of where they are rather than how the hell do you get to them. Definitely want to heal up with the fairy cave before I go rolling on into this alternate entrance here. I have to say, this was a primely located fairy cave.
Alright, let's see what you got for me. Whoa, all right, okay, just throw me right into the mix of it, huh? Whew. Oh, good, oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, that's weird. I can just totally walk through that. Come on! Ugh. I was hoping my sword would come back before the Dodongo started moving again. Oof, this is a very cramped room. Ah. Okay. Uh. Okay, I can't walk through you. Okay, that was really weird. Let me see here. Ah! <laughs> That's why. That was a stroke of luck. If I hadn't been knocked back into that, I wouldn't have known you could walk through that. Okay, there's a portal there. Oddly placed. I'm assuming there's going to be a secret area. Oh my goodness, this room again. I hate this room. Now I'm on the bottom half. This is terrible. Get me out of here. Let's see if I can do this quickly. Ugh, come on. Nope, I can't do this quickly. And there's way too much stuff. There's way too much stuff going on, on the screen. Wait, oh. Criminy. <sighs> so yes, even without the three heart challenge, level seven has been a pain in the butt. Yes, it has. I will not deny this. Even, even, break. You know, just modifying my challenge or just having more hearts. I still have problems with this stage. This stage is just. This is pretty bad. Now I asked ahead of time if level eight was any worse than this, and thankfully some people have said, "Nah, level eight's kind of a breather compared to this one." I'm like, thank goodness, because this one is terrible. Ah. Uh. This level, let me tell you. Alright. Forget the magic potions, I just need to get out of here. Well then, I guess that portal is my next way out. Am I gonna have to kill all of you? There's a flame on the northern wall. I didn't even see that. Okay, silly me. Oh, right. That just takes me back to the beginning like every other warp. So now I have to retrace my steps and go back to the alternate hammer entrance here. So there's like four entrances to this dungeon. There's like one main one. Then there's one that you can reach normally. Uh, it's over in the next screen here. Yep, down below there. And there's one couple screens southwest of here that you can access via the bracelet, and then of course the hammer accessible one here. So four entrances total. And you will apparently be using all four to get through the dungeon. Okay, there was a oh gosh, I hate this room already. Okay, there was a portal. I'm guessing there's a hidden path to it. Yep, that was easy. Yeah, okay, cool. We're over here now. I was wondering when I'd get over here. I was like, all these er other extra areas I've seen throughout the dungeon I'm finally having access to. And it lands us in this room. If that portal was any indication, that probably leads me back to the start. So what was the point of this? Okay, there's a room to the north of me. Ah, ha, ha. There we go. Oh. 
Okay... I'm guessing that's one of them ruby rooms that I have to come back to with, a pre for, with an item from the next dungeon. I'm guessing something that allowed me to cross water. Flippers, maybe? Zora scale? Something? Eh, good enough on the hearts. Alright, now I can finally go south on this room. But I have to kill all these enemies again. Oh, gosh! Those stupid Dodongos. Finally. Alright, one last wish rope. Oof. I totally skipped this room. I am not even dealing with that room. Uh-huh, <laughs> skip this room too. Not dealing with you. Ah, here's the third path for this room. Ah, we were like totally near the start. <laughs> I like the fact that the final path through the level is right near the start. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not on the designer's part, but that is pretty clever. And totally just not let you give a chance to attack. Wow, I feel like... I feel like we're on the final stretch here. Because there's an actual staircase leading down somewhere. Come on. Thank you. There's a lot more of these new Stolfos. At least they, they don't take a beating. They're pretty weak. But let me tell you, their shots hurt like, like heck. Very powerful shots. Okay, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Is there a block I'm supposed to move? Oh, okay, there's something up th okay, there's something up there in the upper left. Okay, gotcha. Ugh. I have to clear the way first. This is terrible. Alright, I see the way to go. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, psh. Yeah, f telefrag right on top of me. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh gosh, there's traps all over the place. <laughs> we went to the hammer, indeed. Ah, that's the big circle one, too. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh, I'm so far in. I'm gonna have to splice ahead. Okay, uh... Ah! No, oh, jeez. He's right up on top of me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm, like, frantically swinging this hammer. Why is he hitting me on every turn? Why oh, gosh. I am so... Oh, I am almost... Uh, I am almost dead. Jeez, I'm gonna die again. No. Uh, yeah, this probably would have ended my three heart challenge really fast. I don't see how I could have beaten this boss on three hearts with no potions. Yeah. Uh, I can firmly say that boss probably would have stopped me stone cold. I'm almost sure of it. With all those traps, shooting statues, and the fact that I had to use the hammer, because the wooden sword would be way too ridiculous to try and fight him with? No. I don't... No. <laughs> so let's see here. Is there any hammer posts? Okay, well, there's that pushable block. Ooh, 
there's one there. Let's go there. Now that I have level 2 bracelet and hammer, it is time to see what I can do, because I know there's a crap ton of hammer posts throughout both worlds that I can finally slam down. I'm excited. It's time to explore the world with my new items. And I have a little shortcut, I guess, to the mountains from the swamp. Kind of cool. Ah, sometimes you just can't dodge those things. Well, I'll, I'll probably safely say that level 7, the boss of level 7, probably would have been my stopping point. If the rest of the level was any indication how frustrating it was. Oh! Okay, I'm in the secluded grove. Or at least that's what I like to call it. Yep, there's my heart piece. Finally, I get this one. But yeah, given that... Oh, and that's the purpose of this area. Okay. Cool. Is there anything else? Any other hammer pushable thing? What? How the heck did I get there? How did I get there the first time? It's been so long I don't remember. I know there was a special dungeon up there. Oh, yeah, that heart piece. Is there anything else? Anything requiring the hammer? Mm. Yes. Okay, I think that last one led to, I think, level 8, because there was an old dude in level 7 that told you the next dungeon's on the... Oh, okay. The next dungeon's on the edge of a lake, and I think that's what he's referring to. No, I am totally going the wrong area. Nope, nope, different. Nope, wait, 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 there's something I can get here. My bad. There's a cool item now I can get, now that I have 12 hearts. And I'm totally going to get it. I found this little secret my second playthrough here. I am totally daring. Yes! I now have the magic sword. Okay, and time to whistle back to the first dungeon. So yeah, I think this three heart no potion run would have ended on part 19 anyway, <laughs> because the level 7, seven boss uh, would have been a pure stroke of luck for me killing it with just three hearts. Pure luck. I mean, I don't see how I could have possibly have beaten it on three hearts with no potions, because I probably would have been killed by the traps or stray shooting statue, <laughs> or just the boss itself, because it happened to be the big circle patrol, which are far more annoying. Yeah, I'm running up on my time on this video, so I'm going to end it here in the village, but before I do, I'm going to buy another super bomb to replace the one I lost, that I stupidly used at the beginning of this video. Awesome. I'll take another one. So with that, we'll see what we can do with the hammer and brace in the next video. See you later.